A scream pierced the night. Echoes bounced off rain-slicked cobblestones, swallowed by the thick fog. Another victim. Another life extinguished. Fear, like the fog, seeped into every corner of the city. No one felt safe. The newspapers dubbed him the Enigma Killer. His methods were precise, his motives unclear. Each victim seemingly random, connected only by a cryptic symbol left at each scene. The symbol, a black crow with a crimson tear, became a chilling calling card. The police were baffled. Every lead led to a dead end. Every profile proved useless. The city held its breath, waiting, wondering who would be next. The killer was a ghost, a phantom lurking in the shadows, leaving behind a trail of terror and unanswered questions. He was a meticulous planner, a master of disguise. He blended in, a chameleon in the urban jungle. His anonymity was his weapon, no witnesses, no trace, just the chilling symbol of the black crow. Why the crow? What dark symbolism did it represent? Was it a message, a taunt, or a window into the killer's twisted psyche? These questions haunted the investigators, each answer more elusive than the last. The killer was a puzzle, each piece a life taken, each move calculated, each victim carefully chosen. He was a puppet master, the city his stage, and the citizens, unwilling players in his macabre game. Rumors spread like wildfire. Theories abounded. Was it a cult, a secret society, or a lone wolf driven by some unknown madness? The whispers grew louder, feeding the fear that gripped the city. Everyone was a suspect, everyone a potential victim. Trust eroded, replaced by suspicion and paranoia. The city, once vibrant, became a place of shadows and whispers, where every stranger was viewed with fear. The pressure mounted on the police. Each day, without an arrest, the killer's grip tightened. The city was a ticking time bomb and the clock was winding down. He relished the fear, the power it gave him. Each life he took fed his twisted sense of control. He was a predator, stalking his prey in the urban jungle. He studied his victims, learned their routines, their weaknesses. He was always one step ahead, a phantom in the night. The city was his hunting ground, its citizens his unsuspecting prey. He saw himself as an artist, each murder a masterpiece, each victim a brushstroke in his macabre canvas. He was the architect of fear, the conductor of chaos, the enigma that held the city hostage. Detective Michelson stared at the evidence board. Photos, reports, maps, all connected by red string, creating a tangled web of clues. He was no closer to catching the killer than he was on day one. The victims were diverse their lives seemingly unconnected. The only common thread was the crow symbol, a mocking reminder of the killer's presence. The symbol was a riddle, a key to unlocking the killer's motive, but the answer remained elusive. Michelson knew the killer was taunting him, playing a deadly game of cat and mouse. He had to find the connection, the missing piece that would unravel the killer's web and lead him to his quarry. Time was running out. The pressure was immense. The media hounded him, the public demanded answers. But Michelson was lost in a labyrinth of his own making. He had become obsessed, haunted by the killer's shadow. He saw the crow symbol everywhere, in every shadow, every dark corner. His own fear was starting to consume him, blurring the line between hunter and prey. He knew he had to step back, clear his head. He was too close, too emotionally invested. He needed to see the case with fresh eyes, to think like the killer, to understand his motive, his method, his madness. A pattern emerged, a connection, faint but undeniable. The victims, seemingly random, were all connected to a single event, a fire that had ravaged a theater years ago. The crow symbol, Michelson realized, was a symbol of mourning, of loss. The killer was not driven by madness, but by revenge. He was seeking retribution for a past injustice a tragedy that had burned its way into his soul. The puzzle pieces clicked into place. The victims, the symbol, the meticulous planning, it all pointed to a single suspect, a survivor of the fire, a man named Edward Kane. Kane was apprehended, the evidence overwhelming. He confessed to the killings, his motive a twisted form of justice. The city breathed a collective sigh of relief. The nightmare was over. But a nagging question remained. 
Why did Cain spare one victim, a young woman who had also survived the fire? Was it mercy, remorse, or something more sinister? A final act of manipulation, a seed of fear planted to ensure the city never truly forgot the Enigma Killer. The answer, like the crow symbol, remained a chilling enigma, a final twist of the knife, a reminder that some mysteries are destined to remain unsolved, forever shrouded in darkness.